If I heard the brand World Balance, that's a local Filipino sneaker and apparel brand here in the Philippines, maybe three, four, or five years ago, I wouldn't think of the brand that it is today. But to their credit, to the credit of World Balance, they have successfully revitalized and refreshed the brand in the last two to three years. And it is amazing to see where they are today. Now, if there's one thing that I think World Balance was able to do successfully is that they were able to get something that you would normally feel is expensive and out of reach and they made it accessible to most Filipinos. I was reintroduced to World Balance a couple of years ago. I don't know if it was last year or two years ago when they came out with the World Balance Invictus. It looked like easy, it was hella comfortable, but it was super affordable. It was priced at around 2,300, 2,400 pesos. That's a little less than $50 to those who don't live in the Philippines. And it was just a trendy, on point, nice looking, super comfortable sneaker that was very affordable. And then a few months later, they launched a collaboration with Star Wars and that was perfect timing. They were able to sustain the hype of the Invictus by leveraging on the world-class global brand of Darth Vader, R2-D2, and all the cast of the Star Wars universe. To their credit, they've been able to sustain that with more Invictus colorways that came out, including the City Pack, and most recently, their collaboration with the one and only DJ Big Boy Cheng. To date, DJ Big Boy Cheng and World Balance have released three drops, major drops. The first one was the trip, triple colorway of the Ice Perm, followed by my favorite, which is his B69 uh, Invictus shoe. I love the Invictus. It's still my go-to World Balance sneaker. I actually still wear it often. To those who know me personally, you know that. I love rocking my World Balance Invictus. Then he came out with the iClimax, which is like a mid or high cut version of the Ice Perm. Fast forward today, ba-bam, we have a limited edition World Balance Secret Fresh Ice Perm colorway. The name of this shoe is More Good, Less Evil, in purple. We'll unbox it, put it on feet, I'll let you guys what I know. Let's go. And let's take a closer look at the shoe. Ba-bam, this is it. This is the World Balance More Good, Less Evil, aka Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, World Balance Secret Fresh, more good, less evil, ice firm sneaker. It's the first time you've encountered the word ice firm or World Balance Secret Fresh and DJ Big Boy Chang. Watch his videos and you will understand. Now, just like the original ice firm sneaker, this has three straps, which is, I think, inspired by the revenge sneaker that DJ Big Boy Cheng is a fan of. You have this, I, uh, I think it's called like the Sperm Heart logo of Secret Fesh in leather, and then the upper is a mix of canvas and suede. You have suede in the toe box, suede all along the, the straps, and then suede here along the heel. You have the branding again, of the sperm heart here at the back of the heel. And of course, if you take a look at the midsole, it says over here, more good, less evil. Now in terms of comfort, it wears pretty much the same way as the traditional ice sperm sneaker of World Balance Secret Fresh. You have a really thick padding for the insole, which helps with cushioning. But again, beware to people with wide feet. The midfoot section of this can be punishing if you do not go half or a full size up. So how do I feel about this shoe? Well, it was a practical move for World Balance and Secret Fresh to come out with it. They just came out with the mid-cut. Might as well come out with the low-cut version that's limited edition to follow the hype up. So do I recommend the Secret Fresh? World Balance, Ice Per, More Good, Less Evil? Hell yeah! Come on guys, it's not every day that you see a brand, a local brand, a Filipino brand, uh, team up of course with uh, Filipino icons in the streetwear slash sneaker world and come out with amazing looking sneakers at a very affordable price point. And of course, if there's anybody that's synonymous with the local sneaker scene, it's really DJ Big Boy Cheng. So two thumbs up for this one. Uh, great job for keeping it affordable and I hope that a lot of people buy it and that you guys sell out. Also, the message is kind of nice. More good, less evil. 
panalo yan. And speaking of more good, less evil, I just want to thank every single one of you who contributed to our donation drive. We were able to raise almost half a million pesos. We've turned over the funds to PDRF, PLDT Smart Foundation, as well as Kaya Natin. I've posted a lot of pictures on my Facebook page of the relief operations and the beneficiaries of the different uh, gadgets and relief goods that we were able to raise. That's all you guys. And you are an amazing community. You guys are amazing audience. And maraming maraming salamat for your support in trying to help those who are in need, especially those who were hit with the bad storm here in the Philippines. I actually just came again, a meeting with PLDT Smart Foundation as well as AHA. They are a learning NGO and we turned over a couple of tablets that they will be distributing to children who really need them in Mindanao, who need the devices for online learning. So again, to everybody who's been supportive of our relief operations and all of our volunteerism drives, Thank you, thank you, thank you. More good, less evil. Let's act on that mantra. And with that said, this is Carlos signing out. I hope you guys are doing fine. I hope you're all okay. Uh, praying that you all have an amazing weekend up ahead. As usual, peace, God bless. What's up? Boom. Boom.